Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to mention one problem which are very famous among beginners, um, maybe stepping in a machine learning career or a AI career. So what the, the question is that, hey Ayush, uh, I have learned Python, machine learning, deep learning and every, everything uh, I means capable for capable of making project but I'm not able to make the project this is the great question that I have that one uh, people from LinkedIn messaged me that and this is the scenario of each and every beginners um, most of the beginners okay so um, I have also gone through that phase and I understood what's the reason and what's the good solution for that okay so in this video I'm going to give you the reason of that to what to, uh, you are facing and the second thing is solution how, how you can overcome that so that um, uh, it will be you, you can take this video as a guidance okay okay so what's the reason behind that that you are not able to make projects etc let's just stick about me I was also previously I was not learning kind of I was simply doing courses to courses books to books but I was not uh, focused Focusing on my projects. Um, either uh, I was focusing on programming assignments, then uh, like that means uh, milestone projects which are given by the uh, courses or books to do this. So just we do that. So we get conceptual, conceptual understanding, practical implementation from there, and it's very, very good. But making projects from yourself is also the very, uh, very, very important key. The reason I'm saying you pick one problem and you try to do because it's your own project. It will be unique project to show, showcase on your resume. If, if let's say you want to show show your uh, projects, so you've gone into resume and written uh, from either courses. I have I have done this, but in our courses you just have to complete one line of two lines of code and so and your programming assignment over. So uh, it, this is the main thing that we should focus on. Okay, so you don't need to do to courses to courses. Pick one course, which is theory. Pick one course, uh, maybe the books, which is practical implementation. Learn about this all, learn theory, learn practical implementation, and then pick one project. Let's say you have picked some um, advanced house price prediction from Kaggle, or maybe animal breed classification project, okay, from the images. So you just pick the one of the project, let's say a simple project, house price, pre advanced house price prediction. So you just, uh, have to um, you will be confused and that's that's the reason you will be very very confused when you take this the reason why is do you do you have done courses to courses and they have uh, made you projects of maybe the classification but you have but they are not too much focused on repression so that's the reason that um, the first reason that you're not able to do the project because you are doing 10 courses to courses but you are not focusing on your projects second thing is that you uh, fear of making the projects means uh, it's a it's a very great thing when I was there um, and um, maybe the some months before um, yeah so maybe maybe some months some months before I was thinking I will do, do this project tomorrow I will do this project tomorrow I'm saying by myself because I was fearing of making that project I was capable for making that project but I was fearing and whatever you are fearing you're not able to do that project okay so it's the great thing to uh, take out from your mind like that and and uh, throw in the garbage just think that you can do it I will tell you the solution okay so this is the fearing from the project is a great uh, reason so do not do courses to courses pick any one courses and just stick with it and after completing that now get on the projects now do your practical re research papers okay so this these are the two reasons so what are the what are the primary solutions that you could that's one can get to um, make uh, being a confident in making the projects okay so the first solution that I could say that let's say you are doing a courses to courses but it's, it's not good it's obviously not good okay I would highly recommend to take one reference book take one good reference book and take one good course which covers all the things okay take one reference book can one course and just um, take one projects let's say you have taken a project as, as a um, house price prediction okay so um, you have taken a project which is house price prediction and in that book let's say a data analysis book they had uh, shown how to make a scatter plot how to see the correlation matrix and how to uh, do the feature engineering how to select the features so uh, 
you you again refer to that book or the course and see how they are how they are doing and try to implement that in your project also okay so try to follow the data science key steps search search online the basic workflow of any machine learning project first you load the data and then you do the data exploration then you do the eda then in eda you do some data visualization uh, to make a st full story board so you can refer that book or the courses to uh, do may maybe make a scatter plot maybe the correlation matrix the feature engineering or selection because you can't remember everything no you just have to refer it you just search online hey um, how I can do this uh, means how I can uh, transform my columns how I can transform it like this I can search online or search, ask in a stack overflow okay and answer some questions too to get uh, more knowledge so you can do like this if you are getting a stock so it will you will stock first time you will stock second second time but you will never stop third time because you know how to you have mastered Google you have mastered scat, uh, stack overflow now you are fully ready for industry you just uh, whatever problem let's say you uh, you are not go, you, you have just seen and let's you you want to make a pie chart okay that's just an example so what you will do you will go on Google and uh, ask how to make a pie chart in any uh, uh, visualization library let's say matplotly plotly okay so you just do that previously when I, when I was beginning I was doing like this how to do so just uh, taking an example as a reference and trying to code it on my project and at last I bring up a very very good project and a pretty project okay so this is the main thing that to take as reference a book or uh, courses um, master Google just asking how to do this and try to follow the basic workflow for a machine learning project if you want me to make that video I'll be very happy to make that video just ping me up uh, in the comment okay just um, uh, leave a comment below I will have to happily uh, tell you the basic workflow of any machine learning project okay so that you could be more familiar with what a machine learning is okay so this is the first solution that you can implement by your own self just for referencing books and taking a look at online etc okay okay so now the second solution that I could think of is uh, how to choose the project this is the this is also the key, key steps let's say you have learned a regression okay so let's say you're a beginner and you learned regression or classification so you just what to do you would just go on onto the website and you just put um, at any UCI let, let's see you, you you go on to UCI machine learning repository there's a lot of data, data set available there so you go there and just type a regression data set and you get a lot of regression data set pick one that interests you to work on okay or and then pick on your system and then start following the basic workflow machine learning project okay and the search online the first follow the first solution okay so this is the basic kind of things and um, I think that 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 is very helpful the first solution the second solution and I know that you know the reasons now and I really hope that you will implement this this helped me a lot now I think that I have to end this video so I'll be catching up in the next video till then if you like please do subscribe to this YouTube channel it's very very motivates me and also please be sure to comment what's the next video you want as I'm talking to you as I'm a basic virtual machine learning project what projects to make and etc okay so I'll be catching up here in the next video till then bye bye and have a great day and bye bye